What's up, daddies? Welcome, 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 welcome to Life Equals. Uh, I don't even know what fucking number this is, you know. I'm eventually gonna run out of ideas for these, so lap it up while you can. Like, actually, please, I need you to help me. All right, so we're here. We're gonna talk about friendship. Life Equals Friendship. Everybody knows. You get a group of friends in school, and sometimes those fucking friends stay for such a long time, um, especially if you end up staying in the same school. I unfortunately moved schools a good bit when I was younger, but I had one friend who stayed friends. I mean, to this day, we're not near as close as we used to be. We used to be brothers. I mean, we're still brothers, you know, we're brothers like, but we used to be like, literally like together every day, even after I moved, you know, every weekend and stuff when we could, but you know, we're still brothers for life, but I don't see him that often. You know, we drifted apart and it's just, uh, it's sad, but I mean, it happens. I, you know, I, I don't, and it, I gotta be honest. I mean, I also don't hit him up as much as I should and, you know, vice versa. I don't feel, you know, and it's, it's my fault and his fault. I feel at the same time, but that happens, right? Known each other since kindergarten, but I think we're still going to be brothers for life. Uh, if he was, if I needed him, he would be here and vice versa. Um, that's a rarity, honestly. You know, it just seems like you get these friends that you're friends with for so long, and then you just stop. Uh, for example, I had friends in, um, God, I cannot stop burping today, excuse me. I had friends in a friend group that I, you know, in multiple friend groups, you know how that goes, but I had a friend group, like the friend group that I hung out with after school uh, almost every day and everything uh, in high school. And eventually, right it, right after high school, there's a few of them I haven't seen since. Um, you know, I Facebook is like the only way I ever talked to them. Uh, and then there's some that I stayed friends with for a couple years out of high school. And then we had a falling out. Um, and you know, I, I still, I'm over the falling out and I have been for a while. And he said he is too, you know, we just, we haven't reconnected, but we're not mad at each other. So that's one thing I do, I do have on my list is to reconnect with him. Uh, and then, but for the, for the most part, those, the four, three or four people left in the four, in the friend group that were, you know, that I feel like we're part of the core members. We're all still friends, but we're not really a friend group anymore. And I think that's normal when that happens. Um, so it's like, I go hang out with one every once in a while. I'll go hang out with another once in a while. And then about like once or twice a year, we'll meet up all together as a friend group. But it, yeah, it's not a friend group anymore. Like it used to be right after high school and during high school, but I still love them all. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. And they know that. Uh, and the crazy thing is like, with all my friends from this friend group that I'm talking about, I can have like not seen or talked to them for fucking like six fucking months. And uh, it'll be like we just talked yesterday. I swear. Uh, it's, it's the craziest phenomenon. I honestly don't understand it. It's fucking badass. It's just weird. And I know I'm not the only one who has this, but that's something I find crazy about fucking humans, man. We just, we pick up on these things like emotions and relationships and stuff like that that just don't quit. <laughs> uh, you got a lot of them that do a lot of people that just come on come in your life for a short time on purpose I'm not a religious person I just know that does happen you just have people to do that uh, it just baffles me though um, so the reason I brought this up you know because life equals I always try to tell you all my mumbo jumbo that put my ideals and shit on you my mumbo jumbo so I think friendship is one of the most important relationships a person can have I, I mean, it's, you have to have friends. Do they have to be a certain type of friend or like a certain gender or anything? No, you just have to have friends. It's the people that you truly connect with. There's It's a whole different bond with a friend than it is a family member. You can have family members that are in that category of friends. Like in that friend group I'm talking about, I have my cousin and we, you know, we talk almost every day. You know, we don't see each other in, in person that often, but we still talk almost every day. Uh, like at least three or four times a week, you know, and he, I would consider him my friend before my cousin, if that makes sense. And he's family, obviously, but he's also my friend. Um, and it just trips me out that, you know, that, that, that some people, you know, feel as if they can just shit on that, you know, like friends that, you know, they just, they're there for fucking 
no good reason at all. They're just using you and so, and that pisses me off. Uh, but even then, it's still important to have friends. So when you, you do have those people that just are using you and stuff, which I promise you I've had, uh, not just friends, also I had a girlfriend who was like that. It's just, it's fucking stupid and shitty. Like I, I didn't know I needed Satan today, but apparently I did. Um, you go years with some of these people and, it, and you just have that shitty relationship. I know that was like a weird transition, but it just, it popped in my head. And you know, I like to make my videos one takes because I feel like you get the most raw me you gotta have, you know, you gotta have a good raw dog in your once in a while. Let me, let me raw dog you with raw me. Yes, I'm not the greatest editor, but that's not why I do one takes. I do one takes because I just feel like it's the most me. Even though it's me stammering sometimes, me fucking up, me currently fucking going on a tirade. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I like it. So we go back to what I was saying. You have for these friends and even with the shitty ones, you had some kind of connection. And I think that connection is important, even if it's just sometimes acquaintances, you know, but you have to have some real friends, I think. And if you don't, I don't think, even as, especially younger, you're not gonna, I don't think you're gonna develop fully, if that makes sense. Like you're not gonna have the, those relationships and those types of things that, those scenarios that happen to almost everyone. So it's gonna be a little bit different in your mind. Um, I know there's, different cases for everyone. Some people, you know, they just can't keep friends or make friends. And I get that. I just, I think you should try. It's just me. Uh, I'm trying to put my knowledge on you guys. I've been here, I've done that twice. I'm not even that old, I'm like not even 30, but still, I just, I've done a lot. You appreciate, whenever you think about friends now, even though, you know, ones that aren't around, I'm not talking about the shitty ones at, at this point, even the ones that aren't around, you appreciate them uh like i said I, I have two friends that i really need to make up with one of them we did have a falling out the other one i we just kind of drifted apart um and i'm gonna they're on my to-do list i promise you i'm gonna do it eventually it's just you know i've been really busy and been trying to grow my channel and everything um so basically that's my soapbox you know for today guys uh the one last thing i do want to leave you with this little gem of knowledge you're welcome i don't know if you knew this but there was a study done by, I believe, Harvard, that if you are friends with someone for more than seven years, you are very, very likely within the 90th percentile meant to be friends with them for life. Even if some things happen where you have fallings out, fallings out, falling outs and stuff, you're still meant to be friends. Uh, so, you know, I'll leave you with that. Hopefully you guys, if you have any similar situations like mine, you make up uh, or if you don't want to, then you don't. Everybody have a great fucking life. Peace.